that look at you, bless your heart. You're so pale, I worry about you. You look like a mini milk in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed your head is like the same width as your neck, which I suppose made it a lot easier for you to slide out of Simon Cowell's arsehole? <laughs> I had to slide in it to get that job. <laughs> no. Andrew and I have known each other since we both started comedy. I'd refer to her as my big comedy sister, but let's be honest, look at the age difference. If we're going by how many eggs she's got left, which is frankly the same amount as there is in a vegan's fridge, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's more like my comedy nan. <laughs> Trust me, her ovaries are weaker than Darren's dad's pulse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, Matt, you may not know this, Matt claims to be bisexual. Uh, although I don't think it counts just because you look at yourself in a mirror when you're fucking your girlfriend. <laughs> I, uh, Matt does like to date slim androgynous women because he's scared of fucking a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, I realise this roast might be quite unusual for you because the last time you were in a roast, there was only two guys roasting you and uh, it was just to fill a hole left by the fact your dad never loved you. <gasps> Matt, Matt does host a lot of shit TV shows, uh, so much so he's been sponsored by Imodium. <laughs> um, <laughs> TV shows that Matt has hosted have been terminated after one series. He's the TV equivalent of the morning after pill. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. If you're a TV producer, you should book Matt, right? Because if you do, you'll be like an air stewardess in the 1950s. That is, you'll definitely be fucked by the pilot. LAUGHTER 